Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about actions, reducer, store, redux type tools and all these things just for the setup not in the details like what are these things. Okay so here is our redux and these are the actions, reducers and store. Let's create some reducer and uh, reducers let's say uh, we want to have some kind of alert mechanism in the a UI which can tell us okay something goes wrong or something right okay so let's create an alert action not JS what do we have is in the alert actions you can also create some constants because action names and all can be kept in the constant like login error login success login failure all these can be a constant and those same constants can be used in the actions and the reducers okay let's go to our actions and create uh, sorry we created it here it should be in the actions and then there can be alert reducer alert reducer.js and we are going to have an index.js which is like a root reducer which will combine all the reducers you are going to have because there will be one another reducer let's say auth.reducer.js and auth actions.js okay this is pretty much clean let's close all the editors okay now let's go to alert actions uh, here we can create some constants also in the constant file which will do nothing but some constants like alert success alert failure and all similarly the login success and all these uh, constants we can have we can have a global constants all these constants can be kept inside a constant let's say index.js I have all these constants here alert constants and these constants can be imported in the reducers or in the actions so let's say alert action so alert actions are nothing but a simple plain functions which are going to return us the type and the action and the payload this is pretty much any redux action contains right whenever you have like asynchronous things to do for that we are using these redux thunk and we will be resolving the promise first before sending the data okay import uh, alert action we will just import it and we are importing it from so i will go out from here i have constants from constants i can get it So I need to get alert constants this is a named export okay now let's see what all functions I have alert actions and I have these pair of functions okay let's call it a success error and clear and you will define these functions here function success and it will take some message as an argument and it will return us what we are expecting the type type is now alert constant alert constant dot success success and uh, we have a message as a payload so this is our first function similarly there is an error and then there is a clear let me just remove this thing so we can see everything in the full screen error and success error and a clear 
So clear will just take an argument, will not take an argument in the payload. It will say, okay, just clear out the state we have. Success error. Error will also just put this as an error and will take some message. Okay, our actions are done. So these are the three action functions we have. Now we can write the reducers for these. So there will be alert reducer. So reducers are actually a pure functions which takes okay what is the type and what is your initial state of your state and based on this particular action which is coming as a success error or something I, I will change your particular state. Okay so we can import the constants in the same way which we have done. So I will import the constants in the reducer. After doing that, we can just say export function alert. Okay, we are initializing the, the state as an empty object. Okay, and this is the action I am passing. This is how we write a reducer the current state, initial state, and the action which you are getting. Right, so in the switch block, we will be getting action dot type. Action dot type will tell us what is the action. So here we can actually create a particular cases case like alert constant dot if your type is success. That means we have to do something for this and we'll be returning returning the type is uh, I mean it can be anything whatever you wanted to return and whatever you wanted to put in the state object that you will decide here. So for now I am saying is type is success and I will just update the message in the Redux store which I am getting which is in the action dot message and we are not writing type store otherwise it would be easy to check what we are getting okay and we are returning it so we are fine so here if we are getting error then it should be error message and if we are getting clear then type is clear and no message simple we have created one reducer right similarly will create another reducer which is auth reducer auth reducer will also do something like this it will actually uh, return the state and all if it is clear then we can return a simple object empty object or in the default case we missed it return state whatever we currently have okay so this is our current picture now let's go to our another reducer which is let's say auth reducer we are writing auth reducer is something like okay you are logged in login is failure login is success all these things we are going to write okay once you are sending a login request you say okay logged in is true if you got the user object Right, login success, update the user object, login failure, make it empty, log out, return the empty state, same kind of thing. Okay, so what I will do is I will just copy this and this is our auth reducer. It will keep increasing auth reducer. Here inside alert constant, we will be getting everything. Let's not call it as alert constant, either we can call it as a constant because there is only a single file. And we can put all the constants inside this. Oh, let's keep it alert constant because we have named export. So we can create a auth constants. Same as this. So here I will say auth constants and here I can do login request all the different actions which you, which I want to track through a Redux or login request 
then you can say login success or login failure right one more can be a uh, login failure login success log out so another can be a log out login failure all these constants we have created So once these constants are there, what we will do is we will write actions. Okay, actions and uh, so we all these asynchronous requests we divided into three parts. You will start the request. Now there can be two outcomes, either a success or either a failure. Based on the success, we will update the state. Based on the failure, we will return the new state, right? So we got auth constants. Now we can write actions. In the actions it will be a little tricky like uh, what all different actions we have for the authentications like simple as login so uh, we'll create a uh, one auth actions let's copy the alert actions copy here here we are getting auth constants and then what do we have is a login log out and all these functionalities login but you already know that we are using firebase right so whenever you are triggering a login through the firebase what you can say is okay the login is getting started because we are not controlling this we are not writing the api for the login it's all about firebase so we will just get simply either you can initiate a login request then login success and login failure depends on the response coming from the firebase so you don't need to handle those requests using redux thunk here what you can simply say is okay there is a login which is started right so you can say auth constant auth constant dot uh, initiated login request nothing because login has started so here we can say login success and login failure if there is a login success what you will do is you will populate the data so here you will be having some kind of a data the type is auth constant auth constant dot here you will say login success and you will send a data which is the data we are receiving so this is fine similarly there is a login failure there what you will do is uh, you will not get the data there is a login failure so you will be uh, sending a message right so here is the message I mean you will be doing already alert thing by just setting some alert message that login has been failed or something like this here I don't think we need uh, this login failure and I will just assign a message okay so we simply have a three things there will be a logout also which will set okay uh, now the data is empty so you can do the logout it will just set the state to empty we have logout okay and we'll expose it from here sorry for the typos okay logout and now this is action now we can simply go and uh, create a reducer for it after creating multiple reducers we also have to combine them because uh, the store takes a single reducer right so for creating a single reducer whatever the reducer we have created we will combine them so here is our auth reducer auth reducer what it will do is let's uh, i mean let's do this simply so we will have some auth current state let's say this is my current state 
I already prepared it so we can just use it directly and we can get the actions also constants auth reducer I will explain it it's pretty much simple so we have auth constants so here we are checking that auth constant dot login request is there then what you will do is uh, auth constant dot login request here we will not get anything right so our initial state is something like this we will use redux persist so we don't need to worry about initializing the state so we can say our initial state is is logged in for okay so let's say here is uh, actions is coming login success so what we will do is is logged in true and the the data we are getting from the actions so this action dot data login failure we will return nothing i mean whatever the the current state is which is say is is logged in false and user is null this will return in case of failure is logged in false and user will become null in this case and logout obviously the same state we are going to return that logged in is false and user is null and default is also whatever the current state we have okay so by doing this now we have constant we are using auth constant this will be auth constant cool so we have created another reducer which is authentications and now we will combine all the reducers together here in the combined in the index.js this is called combining all the reducers together so we will get combined reducer from redux so we are creating a single state tree of redux by combining all the reducers together so here we will get combined reducers from redux and this should be combined reducers okay now next thing we are going to do is combine all these so we'll import all the reducers we have meanwhile i will create root reducer equal to combined reducer and inside combined reducer you pass all your reducers so we'll import one by one import this from so we are importing reducers this is alert reducer okay next is auth reducer we have okay and what do we have here is alert reducer okay it is simply a named export alert and this is authentication i think we'll import them both and then we'll pass it here this is how we are going to use them alert and authentication that's it and just export default or the named export whatever you want export default root reducer that's it now our store will get the exact what we need is we are importing reducers inside there is index.js we got all the reducers and we are doing apply middleware now we are also going to use uh, redux dev tools and all these things to track the state or all these things so what we will do is we have redux sunk already added we just need to get the redux dev tool so there should be a way to actually compose the redux dev tool with our uh, middlewares okay so we'll import that i mean we have to introduce that module also from redux dev tools extension okay this is the package name and uh, we are doing is compose with uh, dev tools if i remember it correctly this is something like this okay 
Now we are already passing root reducer. We just need to compose all our rest of the middleware with this. So what we will do is we have compose. Let me just recall this root reducer and compose with dev tools. Here we can pass the supply middleware. This is pretty much we can format this. Doesn't look good. Okay, you can also pass the Redux logger and all the middleware you wanted to use. I got the root reducer, I got the store and I'm passing the store in my index.js. So that completes my story about the Redux. Now we keep creating these actions, stores, store is already there, reducers and actions. And either we use a functional component or the class based component. The only difference is how we integrate with, with the Redux, right? Now Redux is also providing these hooks so that we can get rid of these uh, class based component and this connect middleware we can simply use use selectors and uh, use dispatch okay that we will do in the next video by running this create react app application